Let's look at just one more example of McCabe Teeley so that we can get additional practice before the exam. So in this problem, it's a very straightforward problem. We want to feed 100 kilomoles per hour of a 20% ethanol. So I'm going to go ahead and plot that point right here on the y equal x line. And we wish to concentrate this to 60 mole percent ethanol. So 60 mole percent, that means it's going to be our distillate product. So this will be my XD, this is my Z. And a bottoms product that's no more than 2% ethanol. So that looks like that's going to be down here. The feed is a saturated liquid, okay, which means that Q is equal to its all saturated liquid, so Q is 1. And the reflux, reflux ratio should be one and a half times the minimum reflux ratio. So to get started, we plot the points that we know on the y equal x line or wherever they are appropriate. And we start drawing the lines that we know. In this particular case, q is equal to 1. So for my feed going from point z, I'm going to have a slope for the q line that is going to be q over q minus 1. 1 over 0, so that means it's going to be a vertical line coming out from the point Z. So I've drawn in my feed line. Next, I need to get the operating lines. They tell me in this case that I have the reflux ratio should be 1 and a half times the minimum reflux ratio. So reflux ratio is the is related to how I go from XD to the feed. If I they gave me boil up rate, I would be going from XB to the feed. This would be for my stripping section. So if I do this and draw a straight line to my pinch, which remember the pinch is going to be wherever I either hit a tangent or cross the curve between XD to Z. And in this case, it's going to be where I hit z and the equilibrium curve. So this is going to get me our minimum. Okay, so this is L over V. It's the slope, or the slope is, excuse me, that's not very clear. And that's going to be R over R plus 1. But this is going to be my minimum value, the one that is my limiting case. Okay, and so in this particular case, it looks like my rise is 8 units uh, for 40 units here. So this is 8 over 40. All right, so this is equal to 0 0.2, which using a little bit of algebra, I find that our minimum is equal to 0 0.25, which means that the actual R is 1.5 times that, or 0 0.375. The L over V I want to use, let me write that properly, is going to be that 0 0.375 over 1.375, giving me a slope of 0 0.27 that repeats equal to 3 elevenths. And so if I plot that, I find that the actual operating line, and I'll draw this one in green, is going to be a slope approximately like that. It intersects the feed line here, and so I now switch from the enriching section to the stripping section. And there is my operating line drawn in green. So next I would draw stair steps. Okay. So each one of these stair steps represents a tray. So I have the liquid and the vapor at equilibrium on a stage, 
and then being fed to the next trays. And as I draw these stair steps, remember we switch operating lines once we go through the feed and that's going to indicate the location of the feed. So I had one, two, three, and this is the one that where I will do the feed. There's my fourth stage. Looks like I'll require one more stage. Okay, so four, five. And this one is my feed. Okay, so what this is telling me is I require five equilibrium stages. with the feed, since it's a saturated liquid, going above stage three. Okay. Now, I didn't describe in the problem statement, but if I knew that I had, and this time let's say that we have a total condenser, so my liquid product will be a liquid, or my uh, distillate product will be a liquid, and I have a total reboiler. So I have liquid product coming out of each of these. Neither of these counts as an equilibrium stage. So in this case, I'm going to have also a total reboiler. Total reboiler means I'm reboiling everything that comes out the bottom of the tower. And so, therefore, I will be sending gas product as my bottoms product. It's an unusual choice, but in this particular case, that would mean that these are both, or rather, neither stages. And if we went with a more typical case where I have a partial reboiler, with a total condenser, then I have stage five would be my reboiler. This becomes significant when we solve problems that involve efficiencies because a reboiler, a condenser, those will get true equilibrium. Where we don't get equilibrium is going to be those stages inside the tower. And that will be our next video.